Yeah, there you go, Pauly C. That's what I wanted to see, a Ram fan calling his shot. Haven't seen a Ram fan do that in a long time, so it kind of brought back the good old days when you guys were the L.A. Rams. So, in return, I say unto you, fuck your St. Louis Rams slash L.A. Rams, or what the fuck ever you want to call them. Fuck the L.A. Dodgers. I especially hate them motherfuckers being a San Francisco Giants fan. And now, about the New York Knicks, me and you, we on the same page about that, so... Go next. You cool there. But I watched your video, and you had the audacity to call the Niner Empire a bunch of bitches and bandwagoners. I'm not saying you were talking about me, but I take offense to that because everyone that I know in the, in the Niner Empire, they're not bitches. They're outstanding, hardcore, true, dedicated fans. There ain't nothing bitch made about us. You want to call the Niner Empire bitches? Maybe you want to look in the mirror and look at the Gateway Gang. You want to call some, you know, another fan base bitches? Shit. And about the bandwagon thing, I've been a Niner fan for almost 30 years. I know I've touched on this many, many times, but you might have missed this, so I'm going to touch on it again. I've been a Niner fan almost 30 years. I've been through the good times and, like, the last seven plus years, I've been through the bad times. You know, when the when the dynasty was really over for the 49ers, if I was a bandwagon fan, don't you think I would have jumped shit by now representing the New England Patriots, um, the Pittsburgh Steelers, the New York Jets, Philadelphia Eagles, something like that? No. I'm still here. I'm still here after a 7-9, 2-14, Four and twelve, seven and nine, five and eleven, seven and nine, eight and eight. I'm still here, and we're five and nine right now. Got no business talking about playoffs, but being this NFC West, it is what it is. But you know what? Fuck all the trash talk because at the end of the day, as long as the Niners win, you could talk all the shit you want about the Niner Empire. As long as the Niners win, I'm a happy man. That's all that matters in the win. You lose, I win. Good day. But on to the game. I'm more worried about how Troy Smith is going to pick apart that defense like he did last time. I'm wondering if he can do that again, actually. I don't expect him to throw for over 300 yards. If he does, it'll be cool, but I'm not expecting that. Especially, you know, the last three games he played, he's kind of, you know, fallen off after that. After that, you know, I'm wondering how we're going to get Brian Westbrook and Anthony Dixon in the mix. I'm wondering how much better Anthony Davis has gotten since the last time he met Chris Long, and last time he abused and uh, Chris Long abused Anthony Davis. So. In order to help the Niners win this game, Anthony Davis is going to have to play much better. And if lately he's, you know, he seemed to be playing a little bit better, maybe not so much against the Charger game, but it seemed like he's, you know, starting not to play like a 21-year-old rookie. It seems like he's starting to mature a little bit, and that's going to be important. Defensively, I'm really worried about the secondary. I hope they can – do a much better job than they did against the Chargers. I'm hoping they can play like they did against um, against the Seattle Seahawks. Um, run defense, I'm not too worried about, even though Steven Jackson is a beast, so we'll have a work cut out for him, but I expect the run D to do its job. The linebackers, well, we're not going to have Travis LeBoy, and Patrick Willis and TKL will still do their thing, so... You know, hopefully Manny Lawson and uh, Paris Harrison can, you know, step up the game. But as the secondary, Nate Clemens can't get burned like he did last game. And the secondary is just going to have to tighten up. It's all there is to it. So it's going to be an interesting game. I'm looking forward to it. It's the latest in the season I can remember the Niners and Rams playing a game that meant so much to both teams in a very long time. You know, I got to go back to probably 1989, you know, the Joe Montana days when we repeated. I could get into the story about that, but I'm not going to do that. 
do your research, and you'll see what happens. I will say two words, John Taylor. But, yep, Sunday, Niners-Rams. Niners are going to come ready to play. We're not overlooking you, St. Louis, but don't overlook us. Now, we've been consistent. I admit that, but when we're on, you know we're good enough to win. And if you don't think so, you might be the ones in for a long fucking day. Believe that. The Niners will be ready. They'll be rested. And we're, we're coming. We're taking over your dome. And there's nothing you can do about it. Fuck the Rams. And I'm out. Late.